Hi everybody! So today we are finally going to do some multiplication with our flat, sorry, multiplication with our large bead frame. So I have the bead frame here. I've laid it on the table just so you can see the bead frame and my paper at the same time. And then I have our large bead frame paper here. Now, um, I know that I talked about if you don't have a color printer at home, that's perfectly fine. I don't either. Uh, you can just use a ruler and markers to, to make the colors on your paper work, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. The first problem we're going to do is we're going to multiply 4,321. So I'm going to write that on my paper. 4,000 goes in the units of 1,000. 3 on the hundreds, 2 on the tens, 1 on the units. And we are multiplying this by 2, okay? So 4,321 times 2. The first thing we have to do in order to be able to multiply is we need to do what's called decomposing our problem. So we're going to go over to the other side of the paper that's exactly the same, and I'm going to show you how we decompose a number. So we are going to decompose our multiple hand. Remember, your multiple hand is your top number. So you're going to start with the units. How many units are in your multiple hand? One. So I'm going to come over here, and on the units line, I'm going to write one. Then we're going to look at our tens. We have two tens. So I'm going to come over on a new line, the line under where we wrote our units. I'm going to write two on the tens. And what number is two tens? Well, that's the number 20. And I'm going to include that zero, so 20. Then we've got to write 300. So I'm going to come down to the next line. Write 300, zero, zero. And we're going to go to the thousands. We're going to come down to the next line and write 4,000. So you see how it kind of made a little staircase, all right? That's what you want. Now we're going to write down our multipliers. We're taking each one of these by what? by two, so times two. And there we go, we've decomposed our problem. So this says we first need to do two times one. What is two times one? Well, two times one is two. This one is on the units line of our paper, so we're gonna put our answer on the units wire, so two units. So we did two times one, now we need to bump down to the next step, two times two. What is two times two? Four. And this two is on the tens line of simple. So we're gonna put our answer on tens and that's gonna be four tens, okay? All right, now we need to bump down to the next step. Two times three. Well, what is two times three? That's six. And it's six what's? What line is this three on? It's on the hundreds of simple. So that means I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds over, okay? And then we bump down to the last step, two times four, and that's eight, and the four is on what line? Units of thousands, so we need to go to the units of thousands to put our answer of eight. Eight, and there we go. So we've done the multiplication. Now we just need to write the answer over here under our original problem. So we have two units, and I'm going to write that on my units line. Two. Then we have four tens. I'm going to write that on my tens line. Six hundreds and eight thousandths. So 4,321 times two equals 8,642. So we've done a problem. I'm gonna make a little design real quick. And my design is only gonna take up one line because it does take time to fill in this paper if you're having to do that. Okay? So you don't want your design to be like half of your paper. And so we really wanna make sure that we're using our paper wisely and our designs are for and illustrations are to enhance our work and to embellish our work, not to be the work, okay? 
So put your design and let's go ahead and do another problem. Okay, this time we're going to do 4,672 times two, okay? So I have it written, I have my thousands written on my thousands line, my hundreds written on my hundreds line, my tens written on my tens line, and my units written on my units line, okay? We're gonna go over here and we're gonna decompose our multiple hand. So how many units are in my multiple hand? Two. So I'm gonna write that on my units line. Two. How many tens? Seven. I'm gonna write seven on the next line down. I'm gonna include my zeros. 70. How many hundreds? Six. Hundred. And how many thousands? Four thousand. And we're taking each one of these numbers how many times? Two. So times two. All right, so we're gonna come over here and start with our units. Oh, I'm gonna clear my frame. We're gonna come over here and start with our units. Two times two. Two times two is four, and this is on our units line, so we're gonna put our answer on the units wire. Okay, and then we're gonna bump down to the next step, two times seven. What's two times seven? Well, two times seven is 14. And do you remember last time how we practiced putting 14 tens on the bead frame? Because see how this seven's on a 10 wire? 14 tens. So picture 14 in your head. How many tens does it have? One. How many units? Four. So 14. Okay, so that's why it's so imp important for you to go ahead and practice that. So 14 tens. Just as a refresh. That's like going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So you come out with the same thing. So it's best if you just put the answer on and you remember how to do that. One ten, four units. So now we're gonna pop down to our next step, which is the hundreds, two times six. So what is two times six? Well, two times six is 12, and we need 12 hundreds. So how many tens are in the number 12? One, so we're using these two wires, one, and then two units, okay? Don't count this guy over here. He was part of our answer of 14, okay? So see how I make the full number, and then I bring it over, okay? Always bring over the full number. Okay, so you've put down your full number. So we're gonna come over here, step down to the last step, two times four. Well, two times four is eight. And what line is this four on? The thousands line. So we're gonna come to the thousands wire to put down our answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, don't count this guy. He was part of our 12, okay? So bring a whole other eight over. And now we're done. So let's write our answer down. How many units are, are on our frame? Four. I'm gonna write four on the units line. How many tens are on our frame? Four. Four on the tens line. How many hundreds? Three. I'm gonna write three on the hundreds line. And finally, how many thousands? Nine. I'm gonna write that on the thousands line. So 4,672 times two is 9,344. Let's do one more problem. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do our third and final problem. We are going to multiply 6,738 by two. So 6,738 times two. So the first thing I need to do is come over here and decompose my problem. So I have eight units three tens, so I'm gonna write that full 30, three zero, seven hundred, seven hundred, and six thousand, six thousand. I'm taking each one of these numbers by two, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do is multiply our first step. Our first step is two times eight. What is two times eight? 
Well, that's 16. We need 16 units. So now we're going to use this wire and this wire. 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. Okay. Now we're going to go to our next step. 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and that 3 is on the tens line. So we're going to use the 10 wire for our answer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now don't count this guy. Again, remember, he was part of our 16. Don't count him. Put him there. We're going to bump down to our next number, 2 times 7. The 2 times 7 is 14. The 7 is on the hundreds line. So we're going to do 14 hundreds. So we need this wire and the thousands wire. So 14 has 110 in it. One, two, three, four units of 14. Okay. Then we bump down, we bump down to our thousands. Two times six. The two times six is twelve. And this six is on the thousands line, so we're gonna use our thousands. So it's twelve, it's two digits, we need two wires. We have one ten and two thousands. And then you're ready. So we are ready to write down our answer. Here we go. How many units do I have? I have six units, seven tenths, four hundredths, three thousands. And look, I have a ten thousand too. So I'm going to write one on my ten thousand line. Now you're going to notice there's nothing written up here in your multiple canned in the in the 10,000s place, that's okay. You have to write down the number on every single wire that has a bead brought over, okay? If you don't do that, you won't get your answer correct. So the answer to 6,738 times two equals 13,476. Now it's really important, I want you to go ahead and practice, practice, practice these problems. Practice this one digit multiplication because we will be doing two-digit multiplication next week. And you don't have to start doing two-digit multiplication until you are very comfortable with this process. I don't want you moving on too quickly because keep making up numbers. Ask your parents for help, call a friend, ask them for problems, make a problem generator, which is just an envelope with random numbers, you know, little tickets with one number on each ticket. You just take it out, use that to make your problems. Okay, so that is multiplication with one digit. If you have any questions at all, seriously, reach out. Let me know. I'm always here. I'm happy to help you. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.